So to do this, we're going to set up the problem. So step two here, after we find the number of bits we need, is going to be to set up the problem. Now on your workbook sheet, I have helped you out here tremendously because on the very first page of your workbook for the first problem, you'll see that I've already set up this problem for you. But let's look at how I set it up. So we record our given address information first. So we need to know what the network address and subnet mask was that our internet service provider gave us. Once we write this down, that becomes our baseline for the rest of our calculations. Once again, to reiterate this, our internet service provider essentially provided us with the first 24 bits of an address. Those first 24 bits are unchangeable for us. However, we can do whatever we want with the last 8 bits. What we're going to do then next is we're going to find out what our new subnet mask is going to be. Now remember, I needed to add 3 bits to my network portion in order to achieve our desired need of having 8 total subnets. So, I calculate my new mask by taking my existing mask of 24 bits and then adding three more bits to it. So I have 24 bits, I add three more, I'm left with five bits in the host portion now, and I have 27 bits in my network portion. So what I'm gonna do then is draw some lines. And what I wanna do is draw two lines. And the first line I wanna draw is between the given network portion, the first 24 bits, and my given host portion. So I draw a line between the 24th and 25th bit here. Then I want to draw a second line. And the second line I draw is going to be between my calculated network portion and host portion, which is after bit 27. I then can compress this all together to make it look just like your worksheet. And now what we have is the perfect setup to solve these subnetting problems. And we're going to use this consistently throughout all of the subnetting we do including when we move into doing wildcard masks. Once the problem is set up, and only after the problem is set up, can we begin to calculate networks.